going to do the Lewis structure for N2H4. Okay, I have the steps listed over on the right hand side. The first thing to do is to count the total number of valence electrons in our molecule. There are two nitrogens and they each have five electrons, so that gives us 10 electrons from nitrogen. There are four hydrogens and they each have one electron, so that gives us four from hydrogen and a total of 14 electrons in N2H4. So I've done that. Next thing I'm going to do is assemble a framework of two electrons per bond. So nitrogen always, or hydrogen always has to be on the outside. So I'm going to assemble my framework that way and I'm going to put in bonds. And I have used two, four, six, eight, ten electrons because there are two electrons per bond. At least four left. Fill in the outer atoms for a total of eight electrons. Now I have hydrogen. Hydrogen only needs two. So <clears throat> hydrogen has a complete shell. Then the next step is to fill the octet of the inner atoms. And I have four electrons left. So I'm going to put two on this nitrogen and two on that nitrogen. And so now I have two, four, six, eight. 2, 4, 6, 8. So I have now also filled the octet of the inner atoms. And this Lewis structure is actually finished, but if I want to be careful, I can check the formal charge of each atom. So my two nitrogens are the same, and so I'm going to calculate the formal charge for both of them. And the way you calculate the formal charge is you do the number of valence electrons for nitrogen, which is five, minus the number of bonds, one, two, three, minus the number of unbonded pairs. And so the formal charge on both my nitrogens is zero, which is good. We want to have a zero formal charge on as many atoms as possible in our structure and our formal charges need to add up to the total charge of our of our molecule or ion. This is a neutral compound so we need the formal charges to add up to zero. All of my hydrogens are the same so I can calculate the formal charge for hydrogen. It will be the number of valence electrons minus the number of bonds and that those are also zero. So this structure is done.